For most applications with clean volatile samples, we suggest that you replace the gold seal monthly. Companies that are analyzing dirty samples or have high sample throughput may need to replace this part more often. Many companies schedule the replacement of the gold seal at the same time they replace the liner. One approach would be to replace the gold seal during every fourth liner change. Before you start replacing the gold seal, load your maintenance method to cool the inlet and oven and depressurize the inlet. For parts, you'll need the seal replacement kit, the one with the stainless steel washer. For tools, you'll need one quarter inch and one half inch open end wrench. During the procedure, avoid handling the seals with your bare hands. Remember, oil from your skin can cause extra peaks on your chromatogram. The gold seal is at the bottom of the inlet where the column is connected. To get to the gold seal, we must first remove the liner and then the column. First, remove the liner. Then, using the quarter inch open end wrench, remove the column from the inlet. Cap the opened end to prevent air or contamination from entering the column. Also, remove the insulation cup around the base of the inlet. Loosen and remove the reducing nut. Remove the washer and the seal inside the reducing nut. Put a new washer in the reducing nut and place the gold seal on top of it with the flat surface facing up. Replace the reducing nut and tighten securely with a wrench. Your gold seal has now been replaced. Install the insulation cup and the column. Then replace the inlet liner. From there, turn on the inlet. Allow the inlet and the column to purge with carrier gas for 15 minutes before heating the inlet or the column. Restore the analytical method. If you keep track of this maintenance, record it in your logbook or lab advisor software. Some of our GCs include counters that you also can reset.